What's up, everybody? It's JT Sports back to you guys with another video. And I'm here with the Chicago Bears 2019 halfback preview. Going to be previewing all of the halfbacks that the Chicago Bears have on their roster currently. And this has been a heavily requested video. A lot of people wanted me to preview the halfback position for the Chicago Bears. So here I am doing it. And if you guys have a team and a position for that team you guys want me to preview, make sure to comment it down in the comment section down below. And I will try to get to it. And also make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as I upload NFL videos, NFL content daily. So the Chicago Bears, their halfback group and general is pretty solid they have a lot of guys who can do a lot of things very versatile guys and a lot of these guys that they have on the roster fits very well in the Matt Nagy system and of course it's going to be interesting to see who's going to be the starting halfback since they traded away Jordan Howard so that's going to be another thing that I'm looking forward to seeing who's going to be that guy who steps up they have a lot of talented guys on this halfback core so the first guy that we have is David Montgomery. He was drafted in this year's NFL draft. And this guy, he's not anybody who's going to burn you with his speed. He's just a very good and consistent, powerful runner. He's not a guy who's going to break out for a 90-yard touchdown and stuff like that. But he's very consistent. He's a guy who you can give the ball to. He can give you a consistent four to five yards every time he touches the ball and he's going to be in for a pretty good rookie year Vegas actually has some as having the ninth best odds to win this year offensive rookie of the year award and I actually think he has a better chance than that because this guy is a guy who can give you four to five yards per carry every single time he touches the ball and that's a very underrated trait every time he's getting tackled it seems like he's falling for for an extra two to three yards so this guy is going to be in for a very good rookie season his yards per carry average is going to be ridiculous i'm telling you guys now i wouldn't be surprised if this guy was top 10 or top five of the nfl in yards per carry because this guy was very consistent with iowa state he was consistently getting at least four or five yards every time he touched the ball. And like I say, he's not a guy who's going to burn you down the sideline. He's not a guy who's going to make anything flashy or flashy droop move or flashy spin moves. He's a guy who's going to run through you and give you a consistent, solid four or five yards every time he touches the ball. So David Montgomery, very high on him. Very excited to see how he does this season for the Chicago Bears. Next up, we have Kareth White Jr. Now, Kareth White Jr. was the backup of FAU standout Devin Singletary. And it was pretty shocking that he declared for the NFL draft. A lot of people felt that he would stay for one more season so he could improve his draft stock and be that number one guy at FAU. But he has a very, very high ceiling when it comes to his ability on special teams. Now, of course, like I said earlier, he was drafted in the seventh round of this year's NFL draft by the Chicago Bears. Was a backup for FAU standout Devin Singletary. He's super fast and explosive he's faster than Devin Singletary and during his time at FAU overall when he was a returner he averaged 26 yards per kick return in college football and I think he has potential to be a very good kick returner or punt returner for the Chicago Bears and if he isn't a returner he most definitely has a lot of potential being a good special teamer for the Chicago Bears so I think he most likely will make the roster just based on his ability and what he's able to do on the special team side of the ball for the Chicago Bears. He can be a returner. He can also be on punt return coverage and kit return coverage as well. So he has a lot of ability there. And also, if Matt Nagy wants to find a way to get him involved in the offense, he can do that as well because this guy is very explosive and very fast. So next up, we have Mike Davis. Last season, he played for the Seattle Seahawks at 514 rushing yards, averaged 4.6 yards per carry, also had four touchdowns as well, and not too shabby when it comes to receiving the ball as well, had 214 receiving yards, 34 receptions, and caught one touchdown pass. This guy is very powerful, a very powerful back. I think him and... David Montgomery are going to be competing for that RB1 starting spot. I don't really know who's going to end up being the starting halfback for the Chicago Bears. It's pretty interesting as well. You also can't forget about Tyree Cohen as well. But Mike Davis, pretty good size. Also has pretty solid hands as well for a guy who's mostly considered by a lot of people to be a power back. But he was very solid for Seattle. Of course, he was averaging 4.6 yards per carry. So I think with the Chicago Bears, he has the opportunity to thrive. And also the Chicago Bears have a better offensive line than what Seattle has up there. Now, although Seattle's offensive line has 
has taken a step up and improved. The Chicago Bears have a way better off the line than what the Seattle Seahawks have. They have more star power in that off the line. So he has the opportunity to have a pretty good season, a pretty productive season. Wouldn't be surprised to see him get 1,000 yards this season rushing. And also he has pretty good hands as well. Next up, we have Ryan Nall. Now, Ryan Nall was an undrafted free agent out of Oregon State in 2018. Of course, he was signed by, Sh by the Chicago Bears. He was on their practice squad during the 2018 NFL season. He has good size. He's 6 feet, 232 pounds. He's a physical power back with good hands and solid speed. Now, he doesn't have breakaway speed, but he has pretty solid speed for his size. And the guy that he reminds me a lot of is Rex Burkhead. I think they're pretty they're pretty much similar in their size they're pretty much pretty a little bit buff muscular guys very good receivers as well and he just reminds me a lot of ryan nall and i think matt nagy is going to find a way to utilize him near in the red zone which is what the new england patriots tend to do with a guy like rex burkhead so those guys are pretty similar when you look at those guys side to side they're pretty much similar and I think these guys have pretty similar skill sets. And Ryan Nall, I think he has a good chance of making the roster. He, Of course, he was on their practice squad last season, so he knows the system a little bit. And I think he ends up making this roster, and I think he could end up having a contribution on special teams. Or Matt Nagy could find a way to get him involved in the Chicago Bears offense. So another guy I'm interested in watching as the offseason progresses and as we get close to NFL preseason. Next up, we have Traquan Mizzle. Now, Traquan Mizzle was on Chicago Bears practice squad for most of last season until getting moved up to the main roster in November of 2018. He is a very good receiving back as well, has very good hands for a halfback. I don't think he will make the roster as a starting halfback this year, but I do think he has another ability to contribute on special teams as well, and I think I'm going to give him a above average chance of making it on Chicago Bears roster because he did have a little bit of flashes last season when he showed some potential, but overall, I just think he will end up being a special teams guy because they have a pretty crowded group at halfback with a guy like Davis. You also have a guy like Ryan Nall. Then you also have Montgomery as well. So it's going to be pretty interesting. But I think he has potential on special teams, and I think he will make the roster. I think I will give him an above-average chance. And also, I think Matt Nagy can also find a way to get him involved in the offense as well. As he has a pretty good skill set. He basically has hands like a wide receiver. You can line him up as a wide receiver as well. Very talented. And he was targeted 10 times and caught eight of those targets. I was at 78 receiving yards for one touchdown. So this guy has some potential. He has shown flashes last season when he was able to get a little bit of playing time. So I think he ends up having an above average chance of making the roster. And I think Matt Nagy could find a way to get this guy a few more touches than what he got last season. Next up, we have the human joystick, Tyreek Cohen, one of my favorite players to watch in the NFL. Of course, we know he was an all-pro last season, had 444 rushing yards, averaging 4.5 yards per carry, had three touchdowns, also had 725 receiving yards, had 71 receptions and five touchdowns. He's going to be in for an even bigger 2019 NFL season as I think his workload is going to increase after the Chicago Bears traded Jordan Howard. And I think he's going to end up having more touches and carries than any other halfback on this team just because he's probably the most talented. Matt Nagy likes versatile guys, and he fits that Matt Nagy system perfectly perfectly and he doesn't nearly he he doesn't necessarily have to have an impact running the ball he can also catch passes at the backfield as well so Tyree Cohen I think he's going to be in for an even bigger year than what he was last season and I expect him to have a pretty good season as well so that's it for this video let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section down below also, make sure to like the video and comment your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Upload videos like these daily. Upload NFL videos, college football videos. And also, if you have a team that you guys want me to do, make sure to comment that team down below and also the position. Like, say, for example, you guys want me to do a team like the Oakland Raiders. I can, you know, you just come to Oakland Raiders and comment the position like the wide receiver core or something like that. So that's all for this video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.